Hello, everybody, and welcome to another quarterfinal match at the Clash Bash Top 8. I'm Patrick Shaw on the call again with my cohort, Will Knuckle. Will, how are we doing? I'm doing great, Pat. It's always a pleasure to work with you. It's a pleasure to work with you as well. There is no, uh, it is no enigma that I am in a zen state right now uh, for all of these new uh, games here uh, in the Clash <laughs> Bash League, and we have a doozy... Uh, in front of us here, uh, we have the the bold brewer himself, Nathaniel, uh, who is kind of the uh, OG brain on the whole thing here, uh, in the top eight against uh, row two. And as we can see on the screen here, it is going to be an interesting matchup as uh, Nate is on his trademark Vincent list as well as Olympia. And row two is going to be fighting with Reinar and uh, Azalea, well, give me give me your first impressions here of seeing these these each uh, each respective team here. It's really interesting uh, because Nathan, uh, obviously, Vincent is very explosive in these low power formats or low health formats, and so that's actually really exciting to see. Whereas Olympia kind of holds the opposite end of the spectrum. It's 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 more of a grindy game of value, which is also very respectable. You don't see that as much in these blitz games. Whereas on the other side, row two, uh, you got Reinar also known for being very explosive, especially this list. He's brought very explosive. Uh, whereas Azalea less combo. like Reinar and just more about, you know, traditional Azalea pump up those arrows, send in dominated monsters at people. And so it's interesting because it feels like every deck's doing something different. And so each one of these games is going to be very exciting. Absolutely. And for those who don't know, we're going to talk a little bit about the format. As you can see, each each player has brought two heroes. It is a best two out of three match format. Uh, if you win a game with one of your heroes, you cannot play them again. So you'll switch heroes. If you lose a game, you you can stick with the hero that you you started with or you can switch. But the first person to win two games with their two different heroes will move on to the final four semifinals. Uh, so let's get into game number one between Nate and Rotu, and it is going to be uh, is going to be Nate on Olympia and Rotu on Reinar. Very exciting. This is interesting, right? So I think I initially want to give the edge to Reinar because he's he's going to play this explosive game mode where uh, Olympia wants to grind the game with value, and it looks like we're kind of seeing that already. Uh, some strong value plays in the beginning. Actually, yeah, and with all these attack reactions, just like a normal warrior would, uh, it Vincent's get or Vincent Olympia is getting a lot of uh chip damage in on turn zero. Yeah, getting three over the top with the blue overpower. Uh, and Rotu responds on their turn with a show no mercy. I think one of my my uh, I think a very underrated card coming out of heavy hitters. Uh, the intimidate effect uh, can really ha have a devastating uh, uh, effect on their opponent. It did have go again, and the romping club is following up. So a ten damage turn here by Rotu. That's really that's really big. Actually, talk about value plays. You know. Going back and forth, that was a three card hand, ten damage. That's that's pretty uh, average value for three cards. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, Olympia blocked as much as they could of it. Uh, it looks like they're gonna have a three card turn of their own. Yep, Boy, these, the, uh, these, these boys are playing in, quickly. Led, followed by the... Uh, there. <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> Olympia didn't have go again on that turn, so we just saw the one axe, but we did get an agility token. Uh, Rotu comes back with a second Show No Mercy. Uh, so back-to-back -back Reinar specializations, uh, but on fuller hands, so not the most ideal circumstance, uh, for those to come in, you really want to have some extra intimidation backup to really maximize that uh, that card ability to uh, turn into uh, a nine attack uh, for having no cards uh, in hand. Rotu's, Rotu's, uh, we see yeah, on the Olympia but... side. 
Roach has been having some really awkward hands, right? So like this one has the uh, the cash in, so he didn't want to block. He's actually been taking a lot of damage from this Reinar, even though Reinar's attacks haven't been super crazy because Olympia hasn't wanted to block with their hand. Uh, it it actually ends up uh, pushing Reinar in the early life total lead. Um, mm -hmm. Holy frick! <laughs> Yeah, we talk about that value. We're seeing uh, two Clash of Agilities on the block for six against uh, Olympia's first wagered uh, attack with the Hatchet of Mine coming in for six. Uh, and we saw the in the swing get into the arsenal uh, on the previous turn. Uh, but on top of that, there is a take the upper hand, which gives plus three on a wagered attack. And that axe turned uh, into a 12 damage attack. Now, row two is sitting at nine, Nate at 13. This is really juiced up gameplay, right? It feels like a juiced up, uh, a heavy hitters gameplay, right? So, like, Reinar coming in with the clashes, earning all of these agility tokens, Olympia coming in with a wager, and then goes way over the top with all of these reactions to push damage through, get that wager in. Um, but, however, we do see some actual power cards from other sets, right? Savage Feast, super strong with that agility token because you get to draw a card. And then uh, Olympia following up with a sink blow. And he's blocking with all his armor. Oh my gosh, he's trying to come in for a strong turn right here with this cash in. Yep, cash in being hit, drawing the two cards with the gold that he had. Coming in to go again with the hatchet, a body, uh, pitching the blue floating too. We can see that uh, there's plenty in hand for reactions. Uh, the Iron Song response won't uh, trigger on just the beaten trackers. Uh, but it does look like he's eyeing the prize Galia, uh, perhaps hovering threatening it. to break that. And he does. Yeah, there it is. He gets the wager. Wow. Doesn't need to break the bolters, but he gets the gold. Hatch of mine coming in for three. So threatening so uh, will be six this. if he in the swing. Nine if we he love this our uh, dual this all, wielding single handers. Uh, oh, he and Roach respects that, and yeah, he does blocks exactly what he needed to prevent any damage. Uh, I guess that was not the hand that uh, was going to win him the game. So did throw it away. Did get some arsenal. So we'll probably. Wow. Ooh, we do see. A hard cross drive and the Goliath Gauntlet, so still coming in for seven attack. It's a bit of a desperation play, right? So, like, you break all your equipment just to throw one attack, uh, and then your opponent just barely dips below okay. you in life. Uh, it feels like Olympia is definitely in the lead here. Yeah, starting, starting their turn with the two gold, those two gold then break uh, very promptly. Uh, do the, he is drawing into the two red holdems there. He does have two resources. I don't see a form of go again yet. This will have to hit so that the refraction bolters could pop. Oh, he does. He's got the iron sign response in, in the arsenal. What a, what a time. And now he does, he break the bolters, gives the goal again. And now we're going to see him pump the next one up with the hold. Wow. Uh, and hatchet of mine coming in for six and making it nine. Getting golden vigor. Olympia, the gold is the payoff with Olympia, and uh, Olympia is rolling in it today. Uh, row two swinging back with the uh, romping club for four go again, uh, but no resources and a single card in Arsenal. This, this feels kind of awful for Reinar, right? So, like, what he wants to do is blow the game wide open with some huge attack that can't be blocked at all. And if he's having to commit most of his hand, he's not going to be able to do that, right? Definitely on the back foot. Uh, now that he's uh, at a lower life point and has to block very well. Yep, definitely at the he's at that lower life where every block matters. And Olympia coming in with the wage agility uh, with the overpower Woo! and the take the upper hand, which isn't just a weapon attack. Uh, and that is enough for the win. And Nate takes it over Rotu in game one. Olympia takes Reinar down. That was wild. That was not fast. Not bad. These click. That was, fast was clickers very, on Talishar. Very swingy. But those two, um, 
those two show no mercies coming in uh and not really having an effect i think was was probably you know i think row two would have really liked to see uh you know, perhaps I don't know if uh, maybe you can tell me you saw the list that uh, if he's got the barraging beatdowns and such, and maybe he just didn't yeah. see them. So I think I think what you want to do is uh, Reinar those, is those maybe have a turn where you push through like you know five to ten damage, and then you just have a turn where you win the game, right? And he didn't really get that right, so he was able to put through some damage, and then Olympia was yeah. already presenting lethal. And because of that, he's not able to just yep. blow the game wide open. Alternatively, we have known Reinar to also just turn zero kill people. That's also what you're trying to look for is like some yep. huge, huge play. But uh, yeah, he wasn't able to get the combo off and Olympia outvalued him completely throughout the game. For sure, for sure. I can attest to, I, I believe, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the games that is uh, on the Clash Badge uh, uh, YouTube channel has my Reinar against Nate's Azalea and the uh, I think I Alpha rampaged him for sixteen or something like that on a on a single yeah. turn and that really spelled that with that as you were speaking to that explosive uh, you know win the game turn that will do it indeed I am Patrick Shaw you can find me on Off the Rails TCG and at Pat Smash Good uh, Will where can we find you? You can find me on the Table Pit. We do in-person UPF gameplay videos. And Pat, it's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, and you, as always, and I'm... That is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.